We've all seen those labels at farmers markets that say organically grown, but what does that actually mean? In this video, we'll explain what organic farming is, what the difference between conventional and organic systems of farming are, and why more people are choosing to buy certified organic food products. But before we get into it, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, hit the like and subscribe buttons to stay up to date. So how does organic farming differ from traditional farming methods? Organic farming is a style of agricultural system that relies on organic matter such as compost manures or green manures to provide nutrients to the soil. Organic farmers do not use chemical or synthetic fertilizers, growth hormones, pesticides or herbicides. Instead, they rely on crop rotation, cover crops and natural methods of pest control to maintain their crops. As a result, organic yields are often considered fresher and healthier than conventionally grown fresh produce. Conventional farming methods typically involve the use of synthetic pesticides and other chemicals that disturb the soil structure of fields on conventional farms. With conventional agriculture adopting practices that lead to genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, there are concerns over the long-term effects of GMO crops on the environment and the health of consumers. Let's look at the benefits of organic farming on both farmers and consumers. Organic agriculture is not only better for the environment, but also supports local economies and communities by providing farmers with a premium price for their products. For consumers, organic fresh produce is often considered healthier than conventionally grown produce. Organic production systems help to preserve biodiversity and keep chemicals out of our food supply. Organic farming is a form of sustainable agriculture and an environmentally friendly way to produce fresh, healthy food. It benefits both farmers and consumers alike by supporting local economies and providing us with nutrient-rich options. So what are the drawbacks of organic farming? One of the drawbacks of organic farming is that it can be more expensive than traditional farming. This is because organic producers do not receive government subsidies as conventional farmers do. And they also have to spend more on organic inputs such as compost and animal manures. Another factor is that it doesn't use pesticides or herbicides. Farms that are certified organic are often smaller in size, which means they have a higher overhead cost per acre. So, is organic farming worth the price? In short, yes. Organic farming may be more expensive than conventional farming systems, but it has a laundry list of benefits that make it more sustainable for the environment, more energy efficient, and better for your health. Plus, you can feel good knowing that you're supporting a system that helps reduce greenhouse gas emissions. If you're looking for a deep dive into organic farming, we've got a full blog up on postharvest.com. And we've also got a bunch of free courses available whilst you're there. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for regular content. Together, we can help the world go a little bit greener.